When we first visited Boot to Bonnet, owner Nicholas Upton had a bent bare shell that he promised would be turned into a beautiful classic mini. It's been only six months, but it's time to visit one last time and see if he's managed the impossible. This is Work in Progress, where we chronicle enthusiasts building and driving their classic BMWs, Minis, and Rolls Royces. I'm your host, Jason Camisa. Time's up. Rags down. Do not touch the car. Very nice. It's red. It is very red. It's a car. It is a car. It's finished. Not quite. Well, hold on. It doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't have windshield wipers. And a few other little shiny bits. Okay. But did the owner see it? Has it? Like it is done enough that the owner's seen it. We had an event. A hundred people showed up. My daughter and I got to pull the cover off of it. Mm, cool. And the husband and wife that we built this car for it loved it. Oh, good. Very cool. You delivered as promised. I see just like a missing badge. I mean, is that look? The, the missing badge, a few pieces of interior soft trim, just all little detail items, and then. Just me being picky putting it together. I wanted everything to be just right. And as promised, it has that amazing brocade interior. I am the only person in the world who wants brocade to come back in automotive interior. Unfortunately, I don't think it's gonna make a comeback. No, I think you're right. <laughs> but I, I think it still should. And now the wood. Tell me about all of this wood over here. The wood turned out beautiful. And the control freak I am, I even had my father who came in and made the wood kit from scratch, replicating the original kit that would have came on this car. Wow, what kind of wood is this? This is American white ash. And that's original to the, it's correct for the car? That is correct for the car, other than most likely it was Euro European white ash probably when they made it. Yeah, I can't imagine they would have imported uh, it. Probably not. How do you protect this? I mean, it's, you know, it is actually stuff. It's actually finished just like a wood boat. We figure that the finish, if the finish will last on the bottom of a wood boat in the water, should last on a car under a car cover. That would make sense. How's it drive? How's it run? So I haven't made it run yet. What do you mean? Well, the motor ran on a stand and we got it all fixed and all the oil leaks fixed there, but it's not actually started up in the car. Our deal was that we were going to follow the build of a car and a car needs to run to be a car. So here's my question. How far away from being a car is it? Ah, it needs a little gas and a battery and a couple of little tweaks and we, should fire right up. Should? Should. Can we find out? Almost. You have a running Mini. I have a running Mini. Congratulations, you have made a car. Thank you, thank you. Feels Very good cool. to get it done. Keep going. Keep going. I've wow. not adjusted the carburetors at all. Hey, it's running. It's My running. work here is done. That's it. My work here is done. <laughs> <laughs> On cue. What was once a dream and a box of 55-year-old parts is now a moving car that'll bring joy to its owner for at least 55 more years. Click on the link below to visit the BMW Group Classic blog to check out other stories involving cool old cars.